The pain at the pump just won't quit. Gas prices are breaking new records by the day. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in University Park where drivers are feeling the pinch. And Cara, is there any relief in sight? Mm, don't shoot the messenger, but not really. This gas station right here happens to have its prices right at the LA County average for today, which is $6.17 for a gallon of regular unleaded. This is a new record for a fourth day in a row, and one senior filling up her tank here says it's getting harder to stretch limited dollars. It's too high. Soaring gas prices have forced Sofia Pineta to restrict car trips to the doctor's office and grocery store. A lot affecting me. You know, I got a, 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 lot, a little money. Analysts say two factors are fueling the painful price surge. The biggest, international pressures on crude oil costs. And with the European Union now pledging an oil embargo on Russia, the supply may take another hit. Also, demand. We saw 2.6 million people here in Southern California take road trips for the Memorial Day holiday. That was a 5% increase over last year, even with these higher gas prices. AAA spokesperson Doug Shoup says many Americans are eager to hit the road after delaying travel for two pandemic years. He says analysts don't know how much higher prices might go, but most agree relief isn't in sight yet. So Shoup recommends everyone make the most of full tanks by keeping tires inflated and not speeding. Most vehicles will peak out at fuel economy at 55 miles per hour, and then that fuel economy drops the faster the vehicle moves. If you decrease your freeway speeds by 5 to 10 miles per hour, you can actually increase your fuel economy by up to 14 percent. Comparing prices can also pay off. We found at Chinatown Station charging $8.05 a gallon. Within a couple miles, others were posting prices more than $2 cheaper. You don't want to waste gas driving out of your way, but AAA does have a free app that pops up the cheapest prices near you. Within two miles of where we are, there's a station selling for, you know, $5.90. And it all adds up. Shoup says if you compare this year to last, when you fill up that typical tank, which is right around 14 gallons, it's going to cost you about $27 more. Wow, Suzanne? each Philip, Cara, that really brings, the math helps brings it to life. Just how much more we're paying every month. Thank you.